Hi, this is Arthur, and this is the summary of Nahida's story quest from Genshin Impact version 3.3. The Traveler and Paimon are walking around Sumeru City when they are invited to an event called A Moment of Dreams. Since Nahida took down the Akasha system, all of Sumeru citizens can now dream again. A Moment of Dreams is an event where people can talk about dreaming. Realizing that the Traveler is not from Sumeru and dreams regularly, they get invited to the event as dream experts. The Traveler and Paimon head over and start giving out dream advice. Nahida then shows up and starts giving out advice as well. One of the people asking for advice is a man named Ilman. Ilman's wife passed away and he regularly sees her in his dreams. Nahida advises he let go of those dreams and focus more on reality. The Traveler tries to help him do so by traveling to a place in real life that appears in Ilman's dreams. Nahida also comes along because she is suspicious. Once you reach the place, Ilman immediately starts dreaming and nearly sleepwalks off a cliff. The Traveler stops him and Ilman wakes up. Ilman describes an incredibly vivid dream. The Traveler and Nahida then go back to the event and warn people against reenacting their dreams in real life. They also learn another person named Katya has gone to a place they dreamt about. They go and find her and once there, they rescue her sleeping self from some monsters. After rescuing her, Katya tells you about her vivid dream where she reconnects with a mentor she hasn't seen in many years. Nahida suspects that someone is using the dreams to entice people who've lost someone. They return to the event again and find that even more people have fallen asleep. Nahida and the Traveler try to warn people of the dangerous dreams, but many of the people really want to see their lost loved ones. Nahida decides to infiltrate the dreams of a sleeping woman named Debbie in order to figure out what's truly going on. Along with the Traveler and Paimon, Nahida takes them all into Debbie's dreams and eventually finds her. Debbie is in the middle of a dream with two friends who have passed away. The group help Debbie realize that it's a dream and Debbie tells them the way deeper into the dream. They go deeper and find Ilman with his dream family. Ilman points you the way even further into the dream. As you travel further into the dream, Nahida speculates that this is a collective dream. Like during the Subzeros festival, there should also be a host here. The group continues on and eventually reach the deepest part of the dream. There you meet Moseus, the creator and host of this collective dream. Moseus is a scholar who originally uploaded his entire consciousness into the Akasha system in order to create a dream version of a woman named Amira. Amira was someone Moseus loved and died from illness. Moseus created this dream by secretly implanting devices into various people in Sumeru City in order to create a sub-network of dreams and to siphon Yana energy. It was also to feed information into the dream version of Amira in order for her to become more human. When Nahida shut down the Akasha system, Moseus became trapped. Moseus then came up with a new plan to siphon Yana energy from the people in his sub-network and in exchange give them pleasant dreams with lost loved ones. It is then revealed that all the dreamers on this level of the dream are fully aware that this is a dream and simply want to spend more time with their loved ones, even if they are imaginary. Moseus tries to convince Nahida that there is nothing wrong going on here, but Nahida counters that this dream is downright evil. Moseus lured these people into the dream and in doing so tricked them into neglecting and giving up on the people and goals that matter to them in the real world. As the other dreamers start remembering things in their real lives that they left behind, Moseus summons monsters to attack the Traveler and Nahida. The Traveler defeats the monsters, but then Moseus flees. After creating those monsters, Moseus starts losing control of the dream, and the imaginary people start turning into monsters, including Amira. The Traveler defeats those monsters and Amira. Seeing Amira die mentally breaks Moseus. Moseus asks Nahida to let his consciousness disappear with the dream, but Nahida says there is a way to implant his consciousness back into his body, and that Moseus will not escape punishment. The Traveler and Nahida wake up and return to the real world. They learn that people have started waking up all over the city and are retelling what happened in the dream. The group then travels to the Academia to confirm what happened to Moseus, implant his consciousness in his body, and inform the Matra to arrest him. They then return to the event to speak to everyone who has woken up. Nahida apologizes for waking them up, but encourages them to appreciate what is around them and to move forward with their lives. The Traveler then has a private conversation with Nahida, where Nahida describes a warmth she felt in the dream world that she cannot explain. The Traveler, knowing the true history of Ruka Devada and the effect that had on Nahida, knows exactly where that warmth came from. The Traveler then decides not to tell Nahida the truth about Ruka Devada because even without that knowledge, Ruka Devada has clearly had a positive effect on Nahida's life. And that is the end of this quest and this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. If you've liked what you've seen here, please like, comment, and subscribe.